Pep Hamilton said something today, and it's driving me absolutely nuts. I understand protecting Davis Mills. Maybe Davis Mills isn't built to be thrown under the bus. Athletes can be fragile. Coaches see things that dumbasses like me and a lot of other people don't see. And a lot of times there's some sort of deep meaning. So if you want to blame interceptions on certain things, uh, you want to pound on the table and say Davis is our quarterback, that's fine. But Pep Hamilton said something yesterday that drove me absolutely crazy. He said it to Cody Davis. He was asked about a potential sophomore slump for Davis Mills. And this is what the offensive coordinator of the Houston Texans, who, by the way, I've defended. I don't think Pep Hamilton has a ton to work with. And, and I've, been, I've been easier on Pep Hamilton than anyone. I've defended Pep Hamilton. But you're making it very hard when you say stuff like this, uh, when you're asked by Cody Davis. When you say stuff like this about Davis Mills in his second year, his, quote, sophomore year, and you say stuff like this, you're taking it a little bit too far with the kid gloves. Take a look at Davis Mills' performance and you see what he's struggling with on the field. How much is that is more so of a mental aspect of, like, Sophomore wall. No, I just, you know, I, I mean, technically he's not really a sophomore. What? You know, he's still learning on the job. What do you mean technically he's not a sophomore? He's not a second year guy. What does that mean? I mean, there's protecting and there's just taking it too far. What happened to all the talk about Davis Mills and how good he was? Set right by Pep Hamilton. He had some great stuff to say about Davis Mills. Lovey Smith made him a captain week one or said he was going to vote him to be captain. And all of a sudden, he's technically not a sophomore, not a second-year guy? Does that mean Deshaun Watson wasn't technically uh, a second-year guy in 2018? Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, are they technically not second-year guys? What does that mean? Like, there's protecting a player, and there's taking it too far. This is the equivalent of a kid going to school in fourth grade and eating in the cafeteria, and his mom showing up, pulling her shirt down, and breastfeeding him in front of fourth graders. Like, I get if you need to coddle the guy, and maybe you feel the need to, 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 to be a little bit easy on him, but he's technically not a sophomore? We got to draw the line in the sand somewhere, Pap. I like you, man. I'm grading you on a curve this year because I know that there, there are some holes on this roster that aren't allowing you to run a full offense. I'm not going to watch Mike McDaniel and say that's the way you'd call an offense because I know he has better players. And he has more talent. And they had more assets. So I'm grading you on a curve. But damn, he's technically not a sophomore? Question is, why is this being said? Like, what exactly is Pep Hamilton saying? Like, what does this mean? Like, what is he saying here? Is, is he saying that you got to start 16, 17 games to not be a second-year guy? Is he doing it because of what he's seen from Davis Mills the first three games? Is he protecting him that much? Maybe so. But you can't say stuff like this. This will drive someone nuts, like me. Or maybe just drive me nuts and no one else. But he's technically not a sophomore. Come on, Pep. Come on, Pep. Got to be better than that. Subscribe to the channel, uh, at Landry Locker on Twitter, at Landry Locker uh, on Instagram, uh, the Locker Room on YouTube. Subscribe. Going to go live throughout the day. Post-game show after every Texans game. You can hear me Monday through Friday. 10 to 2 on Sports Radio 610. I need something. I need a drink. I need something after hearing that. Technically not a sophomore. Come on, Pep. I'm here for you, but you're making it damn hard when you say stuff like that. Technically a sophomore? Come on, man.